The police violently knocked on every door, ordering everyone to never go to the toilet. Because just now the rescue team had been called. A man claimed to have heard a baby crying in the toilet, as if there was a baby inside the walls. But the firefighters who arrived heard nothing. Everyone thought it was a hoax. They were about to hand the man over to the police for detention. Just at that moment, the perceptive captain seemed to have heard something strange too. He rushed to put his stethoscope on the wall, and sure enough, a baby cry came from inside. It seemed that there was indeed a baby in the sewer. The captain marked the approximate location on the wall with his experience. Handsome, on the other side, was eager to raise his hammer. But he was stopped just in time, because violence will definitely hurt the surviving baby. In order to be 100% safe, the group had to dig with their bare hands, as the pipe was gradually exposed to view. The cries became more and more pronounced. The pipe was soon intercepted by the light of the torch. There was a baby stuck inside, but we were stuck with the tiny tube. It was too tightly stuck. It was impossible to get it out. At this point, the cries became faint. The captain knew it was too late. He decided to take the risk of forcing the baby out. He then poured a large amount of lubricant into both sides of the tube. He then pushed carefully from the bottom, and saw that the baby was unharmed. The crowd breathed a sigh of relief, but the next moment, the baby suddenly stopped breathing. The firefighters rushed to give CPR to the baby, while using assistive devices to help deliver oxygen. But it didn't work. The experienced captain snapped his fingers into the baby's mouth. As the foreign body disappeared, the baby was breathing weakly again. The firefighters rushed to the nearest hospital with the baby. Meanwhile, police on the other side followed the blood on the ground. They found the girl who had abandoned the baby. It turned out that the girl's father felt ashamed of her unmarried pregnancy, so he threw her away in cold blood. The girl was in danger of hemorrhaging, but her ignorant father didn't know anything about it. Soon the girl meets her baby in the ambulance. At this point, the baby is dying. The fireman takes the girl's hand, slowly placing it next to the baby. She had the sense to hold her mother's hand, looking at the innocent and strong life in front of her. The girl was left with tears of remorse. In the end, thanks to the firefighters' first aid measures, the mother and daughter arrived at the hospital unharmed. 